What a retard. Wow. Look at him go. So we're on? So we're we're rolling? We're on? <laughs> ben, are we recording? Uh-huh. We're recording, right? Uh-huh. Okay, this is weird because my, my vaccine side <laughs> effect just started kicking in. <laughs> Devin's shaking everybody. He's got the myocarditis. As long as we're recording, it, it kicks in when I'm recording. Devin's playing for the Buffalo Bills right now. <laughs> He's about to get ahead and have a heart attack. Uh, did you guys yeah. uh, feel that earthquake the other last week? Yeah, that's, I was here when the earthquake. Want to know why that happened? The San Andreas fault line is on its fifth booster. <laughs> there we go. Devin. Right. There we go. Woo! Starting it off. Bringing the heat. Yeah. Early Man. in the app. You know what's funny is I. Uh, oh, it's way too loud. Yeah, it's very loud. Yeah, it's a little loud. Yeah. Test one, two. Check. I have like uh, I ate McDonald's. And I have like labored breathing, like I just got off of a horse yeah. or something. Like yeah. I just like, whew. You have labor, long. You have labor breathing from doing soy face for too long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it gives it makes your sweat fatter, <laughs> like McDonald's and fast. Yeah, food. it turns mm-hmm. it into like grease. Yeah, it yeah. turns into chubby rain, <laughs> like the Bowfinger thing. <laughs> I felt fine, and then at McDonald's, I can't breathe. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, ter- I'm like, whew. oh, it affects the lungs I'm too. Like, it's like smoking. <laughs> Yeah, you might as well light a fry Mm -hmm. and then smoke it. You probably could Mm -hmm. smoke it like a cigarette. Imagine like just biting Mm. it in a McDonald's fry and then throwing it on the ground and stomping on it. It's just an ashtray full of fries. Mm. Well, I I went out of town and there were two mass shootings. Yeah. Yep. All by Chinese guys. All by Chinese guys. Chinese? (laughs) Chinese guys? How do we... You inventing a new slur? I I wanted to get into this. I wanted to ask you guys... Sure. Where you stand on Chinese guys doing the shootings? I'm into Be- it. Yeah, because there's been a lot of Asian hate here's, the last ten years. Well, here's what I when I I mean first instincts, I thought it was actually a good sign because I'm like, oh good, at least the Chinese are also losing their minds too. <laughs> right. Like TikTok's affecting them. They thought it was just for us, but mm-hmm. like no, they're, yeah, even they are non-resistant to living in America. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Even they're turning retarded. They're just like, oh, there's too many women with their camel toes showing on TikTok, mm-hmm. and I just gotta go shoot up this New Year's party. Yeah, for the year of the rabbit. <clears throat> And the other one was a mushroom farmer in Half Moon Bay, which I spent a whole... I, it's very weird. It was in that neighborhood because I Just spent... Tell her to stop. Hey, Emma, come on. Oh, no. That get bone's off. so loud. God, it's like bone tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm chewing ice into the mic. <laughs> She's like... We start recording and she started banging the bone against the table. <laughs> She's like playing the xylophone like on an old skeleton, like a Warner Brothers cartoon. <laughs> You know in Bone Tomahawk how they amputated their women so they were just like sure. fuck puppets? Yeah, yeah. That's Emma's kind of, like you said, Bone Tomahawk. And She's the minute kinda... the podcast starts, Gracie turns into Air Bud. <laughs> All of yeah, a sudden, yeah. gets like all this energy. Mm-hmm. I think she knows she's on camera. She's ready to show off her trick. Yeah, right. Right. Emma, come on. Emma's like yeah. banging two bones together. Emma, like you gotta give me the bone. That's dude. really wild. No, Emma turns into a cannibalistic tribesman. Right. By the way, Devin, you've known Emma for as long as you've known me. You've known Emma for almost a decade now. That's actually she. Insane. She doesn't like bones. No, she's not a bone dog. Mm-mm. No, she's not. Yeah, but you you start recording, she turns into like a junkyard dog. Mm-hmm. She's like chewing hubcaps and chasing like baseball players off a field. Oh, she hates we're talking about her. Yeah, beat it. <laughs> yeah, beat it. Beat it. We're going to cut the the rest of your legs off, turn you into a fucking pillow like Bone Tomahawk. <laughs> and then we're going to fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> oh, man, Would the I... government take your dog away? <clears throat> you cut off its uh, legs and start fucking it? Like uh, would a guy sh- like would a guy with like sunglasses and a suit and like a briefcase show up at my door? Right, yeah, and like, like start taking measurements. Yeah, like the black guy from Lilo and Stitch would show up. <laughs> <laughs> Bubbles would show up and be like, "You fucked the dog too much." Yeah, yeah. You get to fuck it once a week, but yeah, every I think damn day. That should be a branch uh, that CPS deals with. I yeah. think they do child protective services and also if you're fucking your pets. Right. They show up, and they. I think. I think if you're fucking your pet. They should show up and give you a warning, <laughs> yeah. like just a verbal, right? Like just you kind of rep. You, they don't They're shame like, Listen, you. We all wanted to do it. You slipped up, <laughs> and now you're kind of addicted. I get it. It's like smoking a cigarette. But the guy at the door is like, "But you did break the seal." <laughs> We're all really excited about it. <laughs> we do want. We don't want you to continue doing it. But if you do, maybe take some notes. Mm-hmm. Maybe film some videos for the guys hey, back I'm at the lab. Not against turning a blind eye if you let me in there and let me have a go at her. Your dog is what I mean. Yeah, your, amput- your amputated dog. Amputated. No, with the with the teeth filed down. Right. That that 
that creature. So it's a real gummy suck. It's a real gummy suck. A gummy sack? Yeah. Now, listen, I'm, usually I shut this down, but I heard you cut all the dog's legs off. <laughs> so, so it's just like a fuck pillow. Because I usually shut this down. I usually shut this down, but frankly, I'm a little interested. I'll admit, I've been chasing the dragon for years, you know? Chasing the dragon. It's like when a cop gets addicted to fentanyl. It happens, you know? <laughs> Yeah. But with the, the Chinese guys... Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Chinese guys, first of all, they're doing numbers. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but they're doing a good job mm-hmm. out there when it comes to being evil and bad. Yeah. They're posting serious numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not... They they excel at everything they do. He probably thought shooting up that place would get him citizenship. <laughs> what place did he shoot up? He shot up like a New Year's party or something. Yeah, it was like a bingo hall in Alhambra. He shot up like a Chinese menu or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, a, it was a Zen garden. Yeah, he he shot up a showing of Kill Bill at the Be- New Beverly. <laughs> he they the news was trying to spin it in mm-hmm. this weird area when I first started reading that they said in a highly populated Asian American community there was a shooting, yes. basically implying it was a racially motivated thing. They they were typing the stop Asian hates. So they were like ready to ready send those to, out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They think it's just patriot. Like the Chinese guy shooting up a place thinks he's being a patriot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's been watching the news. Yeah. He goes, I guess I have to shoot up yeah, a yeah. place. He, thought, he like, thought they were Japanese people. <laughs> He's still trying to get revenge for Pearl Harbor. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, it's it's they the were... only shooting up they're doing. They're what? not taking the vaccine, any of these <laughs> Chinese guys. No, they don't need to. They mm-hmm. already they created it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but probably when the, every all the journalists were typing, mm-hmm. like just ready to hit send on the... I remember a couple, it's a white guy. A couple of group chats I were in were already kind of playing. They're like, no, it looks like there was another Asian shooting. And I was like, I have a feeling about this. Because mm-hmm. if you go to Alhambra to do a shooting, you're already Chinese. Yeah, you sure. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know right. I mean? no, yeah, no white one's... guy doing a shooting in LA, he's going to Little Tokyo. That's like where the big, right. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. He's going to like a kabuki. Right. <laughs> he thinks that's where all the Asian people mm-hmm. are. Yeah. He's going to the sushi place on the conveyor belt. Yeah, yes, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, it was like I, I a think, crazy week. You think Bo and Yang like like the uh, like a red phone in his living room like rang? And yeah, he, like, he just answered it. Like and he's just sat F- on standby. Like he's John F. Kennedy. Yeah, like he's the president. <laughs> right. He's like the nuclear yeah. football. Uh, the his agent calls him. He's like, looks like you're about to get eight movies. <laughs> and then he has to he has to call him back. He's like. So it was a weird-looking Asian guy. <laughs> like we're, we're looking in to see if he was a Filipino, but they're pretty sure he was Chinese. He had a really thin face. He didn't have that weird squish face, so it's not looking great. <laughs> that weird squish face. Did you see the, the the video of the guy wrestling the gun away from him? No, I missed that. No, I didn't look up. Guy like saved the day after. I mean, he killed a lot of people, but he right. still <laughs> saved them from right. other people dying. Uh-huh. And the guy, did you see that? The the he had like a wonderful home alone style like christmas beanie on when he yeah. did it you said he looked like kevin McAllister. he looked like kevin McAllister. <laughs> home around yeah kyoto McAllister. Mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know it's uh, it was weird that then another one just happened the same week asian mushroom farmer yeah 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 but he he, he, he did he have, shoot a bunch of mushrooms because he thought they were asian people <laughs> He thought they were Asian people <laughs> from uh, wearing rice hats. <laughs> he just saw The Last of Us and he hates <laughs> mushrooms. And <clears throat> He's like, these are kind of the Asian people of vegetables. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I know they're technically fungus, but, you know, L- I, give me a little leeway. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to see a trend here, though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that I think we have a problem. Right. We haven't shot enough Asian people. So now <laughs> we've stopped shooting up massage parlors in Atlanta. Th- but this is an issue because as people are getting vaccinated, there are less shootings because people are becoming more docile. Right. Well, they're all dying. Yeah. The shooters are dying. They're their, dying. Hearts, their hearts are too weak to pull the trigger anymore. The shooters are keeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a guy walking into a church right now and then he just just dies on the on the steps. Because he got too excited. By the way, what is going on? Like, how come certain weeks it's like the vaccines killing everybody? Like, out of like just this last few weeks, all the videos of people sh- fake like shaking. Mm-hmm. I right. didn't. I noticed that too because those were like early like vaccine. Like, it was a lot of nurses shaking. Yes, and out of nowhere. Then it went away for like a yeah. year. Women, like blonde women with hatchet faces, were just doing the stanky leg all over the country, <laughs> and then it went away. And now it's back. Right. 
Mm-hmm. Something, something. I, I think it's because the mainstream news is talking more about like it actually is the vaccine's a little weird. Right. These people that are, they, they post videos of them shaking like this, I'm just happy they're finally getting some exercise. <laughs> They're f- once and for all. They're they're finally right. getting some exercise. They're finally burning some calories. Yeah, they go to the, they say to their doctor. They're like, I'm shaking from the vaccine. It's like you're choking to death <laughs> on a you swallowed a burrito whole, <laughs> right. and your yeah. body's shaking to get it through your gullet. Like no, it's the vaccine. There's a wad of chorizo lodged in your intestine, right. and your body is vibrating <laughs> trying to get it to travel. Through the maze of flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horrible, horrible flesh. Yeah, you're playing yeah. like the... It's Drano. That's yeah. what the vaccine was. Your, your body's like a game of Plinko with a burrito in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just stuck between the wood pegs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's an interesting time. It, it depends. It's it's like it's, uh, it's trending sometimes. And then you go, oh, I guess everybody's... Everybody's just pretending. It's this... Yeah. Whole, th- whole damn country's shaking. I think they're... Uh, I, don't think, I don't think they're faking it, though. You don't think so? Some no, are. I think they think they have it. I think they Maybe. think oh, they, they see have like videos of people. Sh- thing. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. saw a couple where they stop shaking when they go to turn the camera off. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. She's like, and then she's like, okay, everyone saw. And then she goes, <laughs> just very hit stop. Very calm. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I, I believe it. I believe that it, that it isn't great. I, I will say, I, I, I regret getting it, but I wanted to go drink at bars and hurt my health even more. Sure. Can I say something though? I've never seen someone having a seizure and pull their phone out right. and start filming themselves. Yes. Mm-hmm. Anybody I've ever seen have a seizure is on the floor. Yeah. With and the you just see the the whites, the sclera mm-hmm. of their eyes. Yeah, it's yeah. all you see. Yeah, yeah. People having a seizure like vibrate. Yeah, they're not no yeah. one has a seizure and they like getting a selfie stick and like extending right. it. Nobody like, has a seizure, on a GoPro. Yeah, nobody has a seizure where their foot just goes like back and forth. Mm-hmm. Like how you would fake having a seizure. Sure. Yeah. You I, have like seizure. Like you're like, you're seizing up. Right. I don't think you can be like, get me on Snapchat. <laughs> like, and the amount of videos where it's like they're filming their feet shaking and then they're just watching the Cleveland show in the background. <laughs> It's like the people, the people who are shooting uh-huh. this video. The vaccine was the healthiest thing they put in their body, mm. like in the last decade. They're like shaking so much, I can barely eat my Tostinos anymore. <laughs> my my mm. husband makes this chip dip where he just puts eight sticks of butter in a crock pot and then pisses in it, mm-hmm. and I can't I can't even eat that anymore. Shake it all over we myself. We can't do our TikTok recipes anymore, <laughs> where you take the bag of Doritos and you pour ground beef in it, also, and how then put that in the microwave. The vaccine's only affecting poor, retarded people, yeah. too. Isn't that odd? Mm. I it's, haven't seen one... I haven't really... I mean, maybe they're out there, but I haven't seen like a, a, an intellectual be like shaking up a storm. Right. And, Lex, mm. Lex Friedman isn't shaking anywhere. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's always like... It's poor, retarded people, or it's like black NFL players, mm-hmm. and that's it. Yeah, it's all women that just say "proud mama" right. on their Twitter, and they yeah mm-hmm. they call their children bear cubs. Yes, they go "proud mama bear" of a couple cubs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my round children that I have. <laughs> I gave she, birth to four bowling yeah, balls every morning. I dribble my kids to school. <laughs> my son can barely hug me, partly because of the shaking, mostly because his arms can't reach around my body no more. <laughs> We kind of rub our bodies together like two seals. Those families, it's just they're someone's always in a cast, mm-hmm. but yeah. no one has any medical they, care. They have a family cast that they keep on <laughs> they hand. Passed down. Right. It's like when a when a snail outgrow or like a crab outgrows its shell, mm-hmm. and then there's like a bunch of crabs lined up in a yeah, row. Yeah, yeah. All the members of the family like have to trade casts real quick. <laughs> I knew those people growing up. That all they all it's like just at a certain point mm-hmm. they should go to school in football gear, right. <laughs> full pads and helmet and mouth yeah. guard because they're always breaking some bone in their. It was body. like they, every school had one fat girl who always needed two knee braces at all times. Yeah, mm-hmm. like the metal fucking Fox NFL robot knee brace, and she graduates into the thing on her. Yeah, on she was carpal tunnel right. from like uh, her thighs got so big that her kneecap like shifted. <laughs> Like Pangea. Like it, it went behind her. And she'd always get called Thunder Thighs. I mean, this woman has probably probably killed herself, the people I'm thinking of in my head. But w- women who were somehow 14, uh-huh. but they were sure at 14 shaped like a like a Texas Roadhouse waitress. Sure, yeah. Yeah. sure. Something that belongs behind barbed wire. <laughs> yes. Just should they should be standing in a field 
staring blankly at cars passing by right as they chew cut a person who should be chained to a post like a like a bulldog <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> Yes, mm-hmm. uh, a human woman. Yeah, <laughs> a song right, very, very good. <laughs> a song about a woman that only Queen has written about. Right, no one else. Mm-hmm. No one else. Yeah, a woman so big. It's your old joke, but not even a black. There's not a guy black enough to fuck her. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> like my old joke. <laughs> That's not exactly my joke. Sure, right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. It's close. Yeah, I was paraphrasing. That is crazy. Right. Like uh, the, all the black guys that are really good looking and and buff, and they're just they're banging Gilbert Grape's mom. <laughs> Every time I'm in Dallas, I'm mm. like, "What is going? What spell?" You see, right. like Waka a- Flocka they- with, right. yeah, yeah. They're under like the hillbilly mm. get out spell, right? Or yeah. something. It's like the weirdest thing. It's David Robinson, and he's dating like a Ford F one fifty, the white truck that a construction worker drives. That's yeah, like like Jamie Fox with Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> You, you see it all I, the time. I love it. Yeah, you just walk right into a like a pluckers. Mm-hmm. And just, we're like, what, mm-hmm. dude? You could be, be killing it. Who's the guy with the eye, the weird eye? Fetty Wap. Yeah, just you see like Fetty Wap <laughs> with the he just in tow with the thousand pound sisters <laughs> on his arms, just yeah, walking yeah. into the club. He's dating the fat motorcycle twins. <laughs> He's got them. They're on motorcycles holding each other's arms. Yeah, because at that point, the gender isn't really important because you can't get it in the pussy anymore. Yeah, yeah. Titties are the same size. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I think those people just fuck the folds. <laughs> I'm, I'm fairly certain. Yeah. May- maybe. It's kind of like, I'm trying to think what, it, what it's like. It's like, um, I don't know. It's like a loaf. Of, it's like a loaf of bread. There's it's take a take a slice. <laughs> You take one from the middle yeah, yeah, over yeah. here. Right. There's twenty. There's twenty slices of bread here, pal. You can make do, a sandwich. You can do the two ends if you want. Mm-hmm. If you're a weird guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You fucking like like a, like a Roman like Spartan would fuck a child. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you because they did it in the armpit. They would fuck them. Because you can't. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Because they thought having anal sex was gross. Right. Spartans right. did that. Yeah, they would fuck uh, little boys in the armpit, and that was kind of how you got like jumped into the Spartan army. Was you got fucked in the armpit for a while. And then they're like, but now you get to like you fuck. Get jumped in. Yeah. Dude. Hey, you gotta, you gotta fuck Juan's armpit. Hey, you seen the movie 300, fool? <laughs> you want in? You wanna be ripped and fight like tarantula people? You wanna be in the avenues? You're gonna have to fuck that little kid's armpit. <laughs> imagine, imagine being the one. You, you gotta fuck my Tio's armpit, fool. <laughs> Imagine being the wife of one of those soldiers and being like, like just sucking him off mm-hmm. and being like, did you fuck a little kid's armpit? <laughs> yeah. Why does your, why does your dick smell like boy armpit? It smells like BO, but not yet. It, it tastes, the taste is awful. It's much worse than it usually is. Right. Than your usual salt and vinegar chip <laughs> sure. that you have. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I saw this very viral tweet today. Mm-hmm. Apparently women... And I don't know if this is true, if they're lying whores. <laughs> Women are claiming that they can tell if a man has recently jacked off by, oh, by yeah. his smell. I think that kind of is a thing. I, I, I yeah, I, I don't know. They I can, can't tell when a man's recently jacked off. We don't know. Right. It just kind of smells like a weird, it's like a, it's like a, it's a subtle stank, but like, I think women know. Yeah. It's going to get tortilla. I feel like a little bit kind of a, a tortilla. tortilla. Yeah. And just like a little sweaty, you know? Yeah. Cause it, cum is one of those things. that's very evasive. It's like, you can't, it has a smell yet. It doesn't. Right. But there is a thing like they can tell there's just like a Mm-mm. musk. There's those trees Mm-mm. that smell like cum, but they don't, but they do. Do mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I smell those trees. I'm like, that's not what cum smells like, but that is cum. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, my yeah. C- I, I, my cum does not smell. <laughs> really, I've scentless cum. Maybe and you're it's not perfectly getting... clear. <laughs> Maybe it's cl- it's like water. Yeah, your cum looks like that soap with little glitter in it <laughs> that they have for kids. <laughs> that ha- that hand sanitizer. Yeah. <laughs> Ben's cum has little uh, mm. plastic uh, stars and moons in it. Yeah, little glob globules <laughs> and toy fish in mm. it. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess, I guess, uh, I never, no one ever told me that. Yeah, I probably can tell if you just jacked off and right. like you're like at the. T- table just eating lunch no you they can I've, totally tell you jack i've off. when i've jacked off in public the you know 20 or 30 times i've done that mm-hmm. I which feel every like man is allowed a couple hundred every <laughs> <laughs> every man in your life you get to jack off at work maybe 
50 to 75 times. Mm-hmm. I think I've jacked off at work four times. Mm-hmm. And every time I, f- I feel like people can tell when I'm walking out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like no I'm matter sweating. What. My shoulders are... <laughs> <laughs> like I, in my head, I jack off into the toilet because I just got too horny at mm. work, and I'm like, I don't, I'm gonna fuck the 80 year old secretary. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's you can't, how horny you I am. can't come in the trash. Yeah, that's I, that's no. You disgusting. gotta flush it. You gotta flush it. You yeah. gotta get rid of you it. You gotta fuck the pipes up because <laughs> someone will come out with the waste basket and be like, all right, who came in the trash? <laughs> mm-hmm. Someone's cum is in the trash. <laughs> it's not snot. It caught my eye. Right. It was glistening weirdly. And they're gonna they're gonna demand you answer like you're in fourth grade. Uh, yeah. It smells like we're like, not leaving work until somebody. You're just like I have a runny nose. <laughs> Whose is this? It smells like pennies. <laughs> it smells like a bunch yeah. of pennies. He's licking it. He goes, "Seems like Jared's cum." <laughs> this this tastes like it came out of Jared's cock. They lock the doors. <laughs> right. It's like dog day afternoon. As your boss, I can kill you if no one tells me <laughs> who's cum, who's dirty cum. This is. Yeah, closing the door with their mind. Oh, so the, you're saying the few times, yeah. the very, very few times you've jacked off at work, which we all know you actually haven't, and you're just, yes, yeah, sanding this bit. No, no these I are actually, other jo- old jobs. Mm. Right. No, not current jobs. No, no that would be weird. Don't yeah. do that now. Mm-hmm. My current job, I would go over to a guy's apartment and work sometimes, so it'd be weird if I jacked off there. By the way, technically now everyone jacks off at work, because everyone pretty much works from home. Work for, the minute you start working from home, you start jacking off for nine hours mm-hmm. every day. Mm-hmm. That's a rule. Um, when I was I was so surprised when everybody got caught jacking off on Zoom <laughs> during the pandemic. Yeah, once yeah. The pan- everybody's cock was out, people were jacking off, fucking. It just goes to show what everyone's doing all the time. It's just everything's pointless. It was crazy. Yeah. Like people thought their webcam was off, and they would just like like start wiping shoe polish all over their face, <laughs> and then just put their legs back behind their head no, and right. start just sucking like a, their own the, dick. Uh, the amount of times where somebody's like, they're like, all right, Zoom meeting's over, and they don't exit out, and then they just punch their kid in the face. Yeah, the amount of people who got fired immediately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, There's oh. a lot, lot of people that were just like, and that's why democracy is being threatened. And then they're just like, <laughs> <laughs> jacking off their giant dick. The curve of it. Yeah. Oh, it's it's ju- ju- just a it's, ginormous it was, penis. It's a huge yeah. curve. <laughs> just a brilliant journalist standing up and just a bunch of balls <laughs> fall out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he stands up and he's got a kid's head attached to his penis <laughs> that he was face fucking while doing like an Associated Press interview. Yeah, every day in the pandemic, they'd be like, Richard Feynman was just caught with an anal bead in his mm. ass. He was on a Zoom call. They were talking about life after death, and you know, yeah, we're Pe- sorry to say, Baba Ramdas was caught sticking a gun up uh, his wife's pussy. <laughs> On Zoom people while would, giving a pe- seminar. People thought the webcam was off, and then they would climb onto like a paper mache doll of a child <laughs> on their bed, yeah. and, like face fuck. Right? Yeah, they would like get, the horrifying. They stuff. would get in the sex machine from Burn after reading, <laughs> and then just the dildo would fire up their ass. <laughs> While they're are the are the best was the people who thought they were like they were doing the meeting, but they would they thought they turned the camera off. Yes. Mm-hmm. So the balls of them to just be like, I'm gonna fuck a cock sleeve <laughs> while I'm giving like a presentation mm-hmm. on like like Q4 profits. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Or the amount of people were were they didn't do anything, but then everyone zoomed in on their screenshot and they're like, Why does he have so much art? Of like kids tied up with naked asses and they're all bright red and there's ball gags in the mouth. Mm. That happens like every week. Every week, you find out somebody's just a bit. They're like, I just like the art. Right. They z- they zoom in on a book and it's like a uh, it's like a coffee table book, but it's about Hitler. It's a right. picture of a child being crucified. Right. And he's being sucked off. And then by you, a man. you hear that story. You go, wait, what does that guy do? And they go, oh, he he runs the Federal Reserve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't 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 worry. He runs all of America's money. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He just said, you know, collects art of, it's not children getting fucked, but it's paintings that look like pictures of them getting fucked. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jace, I didn't want to cut you off, though. You, when oh, you're yeah. jacking off at work. Jack off at work. I probably jacked off like seven or eight times at work. I'm going to keep, as I'm telling the story, the number goes up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of pockets, I'm like, so I've jacked off like 500, 600 times <laughs> at work. We've all done that. <laughs> you finally <laughs> confess it. And you're like, so I jack off every single day. So I, I ja- clock in. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm jacking off right now. I got a little fucking little Coke can that I put a little fucking. Yeah, it's, it's a, like the light in the Statue of Liberty. Mm-hmm. It's never gone out. No, you, yeah. you're, can, you've never not yeah. been jacking off. Me jacking off is the flame outside Kennedy's grave. <laughs> that they're like, never before shall this light pass from this earthly. 
Me jacking off is getting. I'm uh, the, I'm in the tomb of the unknown soldier mm, jacking off. No, it's like the, tomb, the, you, the gun moves. You masturbating is like it, it's like those they when the, those pizza ovens in New York City where mm-hmm. it's been burning continuously since like 1905. Right. Yeah, it's that's you masturbating like crazy Mm -hmm. yeah just you have some sort of device under your pants it's never yeah it's like a coke can with silly putty and like a wind-up toy that i have in there (laughs) and it's just constantly it's not really i'm not smart enough to build a jack off machine but i do have a (laughs) you have like a ted kaczynski level you have a string (laughs) all you gotta do is tie a string to your (laughs) finger Mm -hmm. and to your dickhead Mm -hmm. every you know you just do this all day (laughs) you just kind of raise your hand Mm -hmm. Middle of conversation. Yeah. Like, I'm coming right now. That is why I do this on the podcast so much. <laughs> Just so I can rub, I can do my fingers like this by my head. Like a weird oh, marionette yeah. thing. I, I have five strings out the back <laughs> yeah. of my shirt. And I'm just pulling on them. <laughs> like I'm doing puppetry of the penis. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. No, but I, 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 the first time I jacked, the, the first time I ever jacked off at work. <laughs> This is like a coming of age story. Yeah. Um, this is your buildings, Roman. Yeah. This is this incredible. You've been masturbating yeah. since like birth. Yeah. I'm like Shawshank Redemption. I'll never forget the first time I jacked off. <laughs> um, there was a field out in Boston. Uh, Brooks was here. It's <laughs> yeah. mm. written on your cock. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. My grocery store boss is like, you don't have to ask me to jack off. Just go jack off. <laughs> jack off break, boss? Yeah. Here I am, a 65-year-old man, can't even jack off without the boss telling me it's all right. <laughs> the end of the movie, you break free from a cum pit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm crawling through my own fucking... All uh, your cum? Yeah, yeah. And shit? Mm-hmm. Andy, cra- <laughs> Andy c- crawled through 5,000 feet of cum that day. Yeah, because that's the, that's the... Wasn't it a poster of, like, Farrah Fawcett? Mm-hmm. So you fucked the poster. Yeah. And you fucked a hole into the wall and just kept... Yeah. So you could keep putting your cum I, somewhere. Yeah, I yeah. jacked my way off through an entire prison. <laughs> yeah. I just embedded a pocket pussy in the wall and I just kept fucking it for 25 years. Uh, yeah. And then I went to a bank in Portland, Maine, and they're like... I was like, I'd like to withdraw all my... And they're like, you have no money here. <laughs> I'm like fair, fair enough. And I I die ha- halfway down to Mexico, but it's be it's not. I don't mm. get shot by the cops. I'm just in a hotel, and I I do the belt choke sex thing, and I die. I like that. Yeah, I'm just hanging there. Yeah, in the, a motel. The warden opens like up a, a gay porno magazine, <laughs> thinking it's a straight porno magazine. They force you, you see it's carved you, out. He opens the porn magazine, and a, and a dildo holes carved yeah, out in yeah, it. And he just pulls out a gun and blows his head off. The warden can't figure out how to jack off himself, so he makes you jack off for him. (laughs) He goes, these jack off codes are just, I can't figure it out. Can you do my tax jacking off? Mm. (laughs) Wow. Andy Andy, Andy built a whole sex shop in that prison. (laughs) Writing congressmen for used dildos and... Fucking blow up dolls and shit. Well, never met a never met a white boy like Andy Dufresne. <laughs> Andy was a freak. Andy loved jacking off, <laughs> like all white boys do. See, we black fellas, we get pussy. Yeah, us Negroes, we get it in. <laughs> we get it in. Yeah, well, they ask what us Negroes do in prison. We fuck those freaky white Meanwhile, boys. Meanwhile, Andy's jacking off. I'm fucking his wife. <laughs> Andy was always working on himself. He's a tall glass of cum with a silver spoon up his ass. <laughs> Who didn't get no pussy? <laughs> no, Boggs made him his bitch. <laughs> Boggs fucked the shit out of him. He was a little fairy, though. He liked it. That little fruit kid. <laughs> that little fruit kid. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. We all hate Andy. So the end of the end of Shawshank Redemption, he's just masturbating wildly into the surf, mm-hmm. into the Pacific. Yeah. He's like, there's a place where you can go and... Andy right. talks about we can just masturbate <laughs> right. just freely. And Brooks, yeah, Brooks walks up on the beach. Oh, or not fucking Brooks, Red, 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 Red walks yeah, yeah. up on the beach with his hat in his hand. He's mm-hmm. like, "Hey," and Andy's just scrubbing his dick <laughs> <laughs> with like a piece of cloth. And then it's a wide shot of Red, and his his dick and balls are hanging out of his pants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they show this movie in every school across America. <laughs> yeah, TNT's like, we'll play this nine times a day. This is the only movie we own. That is, this is the weirdest bit. You know what's funny? Very strange, but I'm into it. He is a weird fucking incel because at the beginning, someone fucks his wife. Yeah. He's a cuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a cuckold. Yeah. And then he doesn't fuck anybody for 25 years. 
He's like Elliot Roger. Yeah, the only pussy he gets for 25 years is getting raped in the ass by mm-hmm. five men. And yeah. so he just gets like really into like chess <laughs> and digging holes. Who's the hot shot that shows up? The the cool guy with the leather jacket. Oh, like Eddie or whatever like, his name is. They're all looking at him. They're like, he's really good at jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and he has to teach him how to jack off yeah. so he can go back to school. The warden kills him because he's showboating. <laughs> you're telling me you're going to keep jacking off all day, every day? He was jacking off through the legs. <laughs> going behind the back. Look, going underneath his leg. Going behind the back with his cock. <laughs> Putting it in his shirt. <laughs> Hitting it around. <laughs> Bouncing his cock off guys' heads, Boy, catching it. He looked like the professor out there. <laughs> he would throw his cock down, bounce it with the bottom of his shoe, and then catch it back up, keep dribbling it. Don't know how accurate that movie was, by the way, because only white guys in that prison. Yeah. What's that all about? And, and, and He was just, the only black guy. Yeah, and just rad. Yeah. But yeah. a black guy with a Irish guy's name. Mm-hmm. When that's they, how white he was. <laughs> well, that's it, like all black people. They all have like Irish guys names. Right. Well, that that character Stephen King wrote to be a, a, an Irish guy and they cast Morgan Freeman as the guy. And right. it's like a weird joke they make in the movie. Like, why do you, they call you red? Mm-hmm. Oh, right, right, He's right. Because like, I'm Red Fox. That's who I am in the movie. <laughs> I'm black comedian Red Fox. Mm-hmm. And I love getting pussy and drinking coffee out of a milk that, a mug that looks like a titty. <laughs> Because I'm comedian Red Fox. Irish guys don't have, or black guys don't have Irish names. Is that a thing? Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> oh, shit. I guess you're right. They, none of them have names they want. Yeah. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> it's, it's their, they're not named Johnson. <laughs> their name was originally, like, you yeah. know. Like, undugam, yeah. und, undugu. Mm-hmm. Like, it Two wasn't, rocks being hit together. It, it wasn't Tommy Johnson. <laughs> A thing happened. Yeah, yeah. Their names are like Seamus. <laughs> a long time ago, something happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What I remember as a kid, literally figuring out like every black guy I've ever met who's named Freeman was because they they were a slave at some point. Yes. They yeah. were just like, I don't oh. know, call him fucking, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> get, right. His name is Jamal. Get out of here before we make you do more work. Yeah. That's like naming them. He's like, his last name's Slave Guy. <laughs> My name's Morgan Slave Guy. Nice to meet you. His name's Emancipation Proclamation. <laughs> they wanted it so much, give it to him. I'm Mr. 13. How you do? <laughs> How you do? They named me Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> they just they name him after after streets and bad neighborhoods. Uh, oh man, yeah. that rocks. Yeah. My name's Shaquille Malcolm X Avenue. His name is Jefferson <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> I was, so what I was going to say about jacking off at work, <laughs> at work is the first time I jacked off at work, it was like it was my first job and I was like an intern. I was like 23 and they would close. The interns had to stay late. There was only me and this other lady who was like, she's a big lady, but, you know, wow. that's kind of my type, you mm-hmm. know, um, cute face. Not really. But, you know, I'm 23. I'm at work. Nobody sure. else is there. She's there. Sure. She's there. She has a pussy in theory. Of I can course. have sex with. And uh, we were flirting because we had the decks next to each other. Mm. And we were like kind of getting close to each other. And I was like, oh, I'm about to like fuck this lady like at work. Oh, fuck. So I went and me not wanting because I needed the job. I was like, I guess maybe also just me being a pussy. But I was like, I can't fuck this lady on the desk. That would be too cool. So I went into the bathroom and I just jerked off in the toilet. And I kind of broke the seal on that. So there's maybe been like. Sure. Nine or ten times after that where I've gotten too horny and just jacked off. We're like, work. the bottle's already open. It's going to go bad in the fridge. <laughs> oh, Might yeah. as well use the rest of this yeah. here. I think it, it should be necessary. To jack. They should give you a 20-minute break to go jack off at work. <laughs> yeah, like, like how, smoking. how students yeah. are better if they have nap time. They should give adults time to just like, go goon out. Genuinely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get to goon. Go goon in your car. They They're, should make one office just for gooning mm-hmm. that you can sign up for on a Google calendar. I mean, what the fuck yeah. else has a cubicle for? They should let you fuck all the women at work. <laughs> yeah, and they can't say Once no. Once a day. And they're just once there. Once a day, one, you have your pick. Once right. a day. <laughs> then we'll give you equal pay. Right. If you fuck me at work. <laughs> under yeah. a mandatory law. Yeah. Tra- tra- training the new secretary. So this is the big gong, and when we hit that, so everyone is going to fuck you. <laughs> Against your will. Usually we ring it at two. Sometimes Ed from Corporate in, we ring it at one. Because we're supposed to ring it at one. She's like, like, who gives a shit? She's like, like, I'm going to fuck somebody at one. I'm tired. 
Let me fuck somebody too. Sorry. Is there? Do I get like stock options or like? Is, is there like benefits? So if you get raped enough, um, we will let you purchase stock for a discounted price at some point. All right. Well, we'll give you a free Bang Bros account. <laughs> Guys, like, look, you were the guys that wanted suffrage, okay? <laughs> that wasn't me. I don't, That's on you. This is on you guys. I don't want you in the office at all. I should go home and rape you. The guys that think women's suffrage is women suffering, <laughs> so they're like, you have to get fucked at work. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only reason it passed. <laughs> they, they're like, well, we're all for this, right? They're like, you wanted to be suffering, mm. so you got to suck Mike off every time, every day at lunch. It is funny that women's <laughs> suffrage came along once voting... Uh, wasn't real anymore. What do you mean? Like oh, as soon right. as like as soon as voting wasn't real, was it, they were like, we'll let them all vote. Now. They're oh, like, right. it's all bought and paid. Let right. them pretend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let yeah, them yeah. pretend they're a part of it. It's cute. Exactly. That was, that yeah. was the Illuminati's first move once they took over the world. Mm. They're like, all right, let them pretend they're doing the fucking thing. Uh, so then you so you came everywhere. Yeah. So I came everywhere. Well, like the first time I came in the toilet. Mm. One time. That's I, the best. Yeah. The efficient. Just like. Bah, bah, bah. You just keep keep it moving. Yeah, like yeah throwing it, dice. It, uh, it's like a rest stop of coming because it arcs. It arcs. It's like a shooting star. Oh no! I pointed my dick down and just like straight into like I was like shooting a, a fish with an arrow. or yeah. something. Yeah. Oh, like you're, when you're turning on a hose. My cum went through the toilet water like when you see like <laughs> it's, it's like saving, saving Private Ryan the bullets. <laughs> yeah, <it's> just, <laughs> <laughs> there's a guy a guy swimming and just my cum shots are going all around him. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <sighs> yeah um so no i did that but then a, a, a another time recently this is my, my last show when i sold firearms when i sold mm. commercial firearms so people have to be safe in case of a fire mm-hmm. i went because they had a single occupancy bathroom and i jerked off there but i, I came all over the floor because i got too excited mm. and then i had to like clean it off of the floor what got you excited huh what got you excited? i don't want to i don't want to reveal too much about my personal no, life sure what well, if I'm you talk like, about jacking off? You like work. you like drop your phone in the stall, <laughs> and then like the guy. Yeah, I drop my phone, and the volume goes yeah. up to like a hundred immediately, <laughs> and it's just like, oh, I'm being fucked in a porn. <laughs> oh, you're fucking me with your cock because this is gay porn you're watching. You know how people put like toilet paper, like tampons under the stall to <laughs> like if you don't have any toilet paper or something. Right. You're like you just like you go, Psst, hey man. My phone died, and I like I'm really horny. <laughs> you ask a guy to jack yeah, off with his guy, phone. Like, did you hand me your phone? A guy who's also jacking yeah. off next to you. He's like, you're like, I need. I'm like about to bust though. He, All right, but I'm saying like, like after you bust, mm. like give me the phone. No, you're, just fuck you're, it. you're finally just like, just turn the volume up. Just turn the volume up. <laughs> you're just, you have your ear up to the stall door. <laughs> I'm like, no, no. Here's what you do: put the phone on the ground so we can the both. wall so we can both check. He's yeah. like, I don't feel comfortable mm. with that, man. <laughs> By the end of it, you both are jacking each other uh, off. Yeah, you're like, all right, simple solution. Uh, you're going to fuck me in the ass. <laughs> simple, simple solution. You're drilling a hole yeah. like through the stall door. <laughs> With like a drill press. Yeah, they're like, here's how we're going to do it. You flip upside down. We're going to, we drill two holes in the stall and then we 69 each other <laughs> through, the, through the holes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they just they leave married. Right. They both go home together. Oh yeah, you immediately walk you immediately both walk out of the stalls having just came in each other's mouth and you go, Hey man, did you catch that Bills game last night? <laughs> like that Jared Allen's insane anyway. You both you're both washing cum off of your chest. Tightening your tie back. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Your squirt gun tie. <laughs> It just, and it, by the way, it reveals that you're both public school teachers. Like, then you walk yeah. into the hall. At a, at a special needs school. <laughs> like, all right, well, let's go make these retards happy. Uh, you walk back into class and just start throwing candy at them. <laughs> just really hard Skittles. <laughs> just whipping them <laughs> with Jolly Ranchers. Mm-hmm. You're shot by a kid the same day. <laughs> mm. oh, we, we knew a kid that got stabbed. By uh, no, a guy that got re- stabbed by a retarded boy at the school, and we he did? died. Yeah, yeah. Who? Well, we didn't fucking know him, but like, oh. we knew of a guy. He was stabbed in a nearby but... school. I think you can look it up. It's Tyler, Texas, is where it happened. Oh, I forgot about a retarded this. guy stabbed his teacher with like a candy cane he was sucking on. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled one of his teeth out and stabbed him. 
<laughs> yeah, he stabbed him with his own brain, his sharp, pointy brain. <laughs> yeah, he jawed him to death. He's just like, <laughs> just like he throws fun dip in his eyes. And then takes out like the, this right. sharp, like he's filed down a fun dip stick, <laughs> just like <laughs> like a shank in prison. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I, it's that scene in Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah, where it, you stab them 50 <laughs> times and then rip their like stomach open. Yeah. <laughs> Is that something? Throw them over a deck. Dude, we got to remake that scene in Breaking Bad, but they're all retarded. Yeah. What it's a special needs yeah, prison. Yeah, special needs prison where they're killing like all of the yeah, all we, of the guards. We should remake all of Oz except it's in a, a special needs prison. <laughs> Wait, what's Oz? It's the Christopher uh, Maloney show. Oh, like yeah, the yeah. early two thousand show. Yeah. Fucking yeah. brutal. Yeah. But we should do that where it's just like the going to the war, he's like, I think they're gonna rape Christopher Maloney's character. Wait, so who was this what uh, who how and who the retarded guy killed a guy? Oh, I guess I could look it up. Yeah, is it in the news? Yeah, it was in the news. It was a big <laughs> in Tyler. It was Texas. a big story. Everyone, they, they go extra, extra. Read all about it. <laughs> extra, extra. Read all about it. Retarded kid stabs kid with fun dip stick. I'm gonna type in Tyler Texas stabbed. I'm gonna say special needs. Yeah, is that what people say? Yeah, I don't yeah. think you could. I don't think you should just. I don't think there'd be like a well, like an article yeah. with a retard in it. It's the also AP Texas news. though. The AP News <laughs> fucked up kid stabs normal good student. <laughs> Dude, here's what's amazing: it says a student who stabbed teacher will stand trial. They're like trying him. Right. Uh, this is from, stand t- trial. from 2009. Mentally ill student. See, they they still didn't understand retard oh, at the time. Mm-hmm. He claimed the drool defense. <laughs> Uh, okay, the Tyler. Yeah, he claimed the shape like a Twinkie defense. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he, yeah, he's a special education student. He fatally stabbed his teacher in December. Okay, hold on, wait, wait, uh, wait. has been found competent to stand trial. Right. Come on. But is special education always a hundred percent like not there? Doesn't that just sometimes mean you just don't want to try? Or no? I don't know. I knew a kid in special needs, but he wasn't that dumb. But his his feet, yeah. like his toes, pointed at yeah, each other when, when just, he walked. Where they're, they're just, like the usual suspects, like retarded yeah, guy. When like he walked like a wind up toy. Mm-hmm. They don't have the energy to differentiate the mind versus body. So like the school <laughs> district is just like I don't know. He's all weird shaped. Just he's retarded. Throw him in the retard camp. Right. He's like, uh, my homework <laughs> is doing butterflies. And then he walks out of school. He's like, we fooled him again, Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, start, he pulls his head back out of his body so it's not that weird <laughs> neck shape this is so fuck <laughs> <clears throat> oh, the boy's God. defense attorney by the way i wish he would have uh tried to represent himself <laughs> oh yeah 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 in court That'd like he amazing. waved his right to a lawyer because yeah. he's just that retarded <laughs> uh it says the boy's defense attorney told the state judge this week that the boy answers questions with single syllables and is unable to understand or remember conversations. Hmm. Single syllables. But the state psychiatric hospital hospital found the boy alert and oriented. What does that mean? I don't know. Like you can snap at him. Yeah, and like, he's like, ah! <laughs> like, ah! They're like, you're like, send this boy to the chair. <laughs> We're going to fry some bologna today. <laughs> Oh, well, not much there. Just yeah. a, I am imagining they're like claiming he has schizophrenia. I mean, why? That's why his would lawyers you... are. His lawyers are just good. They're trying to do a good job. So right. They're, they're trying to make it seem like he, you know, he can't uh, stand trial. Yeah. Yeah. They do that all the time. That's sad. I. Uh, it's really sad. It's like when they put a mob boss like in an oxygen tank at a trial. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the like, same thing. Yeah. When Harvey Weinstein immediately had polio the minute <laughs> right. he got arrested. He had polio and they're like, by the way, his dick rotted off. So how <laughs> could he rape? How could he have raped? <laughs> he had a clitorectomy. His dick rotted off. I know. That literally was like, I was reading the transcript. It, it read like a joke where they're like, Mr. Weinstein's penis got a fungus and fell off at some point. <laughs> I think they literally said that. It, they, I think they yeah, they acted like it was just a, like a bump. Like there wasn't even a dick. So right. Like he was a Barbie he doll. Yeah. 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 Like he was the guy from Wu Tang, who smoked too much meth. Yeah, he was the fucking guy that God. chopped his cock. Oh, his cock Big up. Lurch. No, Big Lurch is the guy he who ate smoked, somebody. Yeah, he smoked PCP and he ate his girlfriend. Mm. Yeah, he was like six eight. Yeah, and he ate his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Hey, mm. fourth meal. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking Wu- about the guy that cut his cock off. Yeah, Wu Tang from Wu Tang. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, 
And he, I, I think he later at some point tweeted, he goes, by the way, my cock was so big, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, I Because he that. only cut like the, the last one third off of oh. it. He's like, two thirds of my cock is still huge. It's pretty good flex. <laughs> it's like when girls get the boob reduction surgery because their tits are so big. Right. Yeah. But they still, have, back. they still have D's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So they're like respectable. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you still want to have sex with them. They're, they're, yeah. They're finely fuckable. <laughs> <laughs> What do they do with that titty, by the way? Mm, they eat it. The rest of the meat? Yeah. I don't know. It goes into, like, it's like filler to get used in, like... Is it like Fight Club? <laughs> like, it goes in those bags yeah. and, like, Tyler Durden? They use Durden. it, they they use make it, it to soap. expand, you know, chili. <laughs> yeah. I would like it if, if you figured out they, they have been saving all of it, but they don't know what to do with it yet. Oh, there's, there's just one, a room that's full one of, room. of titty me, and they go, now we don't know what to do, but it's still kind of hot. It's like when you move into a new place and you make a room a designated box room, <laughs> and then years go by and you still you just don't know what to do with all right. of it. Yeah. It's bursting at the seams with mm-hmm. titty fat. There's one doctor at the yeah. hospital whose job is to try and turn that into a new woman to fuck. <laughs> it's a guy, uh, yeah. and he just keeps walking around like these ungrateful whores. <laughs> And he's just welding a big, like, uh, mm-hmm. you know, gingerbread cookie cutouts? Uh, you know, oh, like the, tin, the, the tin shape thing. The tin yeah. shape things that cut. Yeah. Cook, like, he has a one shape, like a woman with big tits yeah. and a big ass. It's like but Ed- he's pressing into the titty fat. Yeah, it's like Edward Scissorhands. Mm. Yeah. He's trying, it's like Frankenstein, but he's just trying to create a woman that's all titty. I would using like- all the excess. Mm-hmm. The, the whole thing's a big The titty. cut off titty <laughs> right. fat. Mm. And he's super pissed off about it. You mm-hmm. know? He's like, even when you're getting sucked off, you're titty fucking her. Yeah. That's what's amazing. Yeah. He's like, this is a success. Yeah, I have to get on a ladder to get my dick sucked because I can't fit in front of yeah. her titties. When you're yeah. fucking her pussy, still titty fucking her. He's like, fucking, yeah, yeah, their back hurts. <laughs> Fuck them. I wanted to get a titty fuck from a 42 double nine G. It is kind of disrespectful to get your... Like, it's bullshit. <laughs> I hate hearing about it. I hate it. I know it's a super bad joke, but legit, even when I was a kid, I saw super bad. I was like, what the fuck? Are you supposed to compliment? Why would they do that? Are you supposed to compliment a woman? You go, oh, your tits look oh, so that's much great. smaller. I'm really glad you don't have back pain anymore. And now I'm 40% less attracted. <laughs> You're like, yeah. life's about trade-offs. <laughs> and go, yeah. why don't you deal with the back pain, yeah. okay? She's like, I have back pain. You're like, yeah, get it reinforced. Get it fused. <laughs> Get a steel yeah. spine. I'd rather yeah. build like a like some sort of support system mm-hmm. for them than she, cut the titty off. She yeah. has those halos car crash victims are in where it's like rods <laughs> going into your neck so it doesn't move. Yeah. She's like, you don't get it. It like hurt to walk. You're like, get a wheelchair. <laughs> Get a wheelchair. Yeah, just Get wait. a guy to push you around in a wheelchair. It hurt to walk. It hurts to hear about, bitch. Get out there and dance. Get out, shake a little for me. Come on, go it. on a job. <laughs> you you go back to that hospital and you tell them to put that titty fat back in your titties. You tell them. Yeah, an angry dad. I want to know what son of a bitch just took some titty meat out of my daughter. I want to know what fucking dead man just let my daughter ruin her weird shaped body. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Dad, I was wearing like four bras. I right. had to put on two sports bras. You know they do that. Yeah, yeah. They were like three bras. I've only dated women with huge tits, so <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do know this. Jason's like, oh, interesting, <laughs> really? Inter- huh, interesting. Yeah, going through this the Rolodex of every woman I've had mm. sex with. Just the guy that anytime someone says, you know, like three percent of the population is a, a pedophile, <laughs> and then a guy who's secretly like a, a pedophile is like, oh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Hmm. Seems kind of high, right? right? He's hmm. like, he's like, so there could be somebody in this bar <laughs> who wants to fuck a kid. That's so weird. I mean, it's not us. Yeah, because the odds, because it's three percent, because there's there's five of us here. The odds that one of us. <laughs> what are the odds? That those aren't great odds. Fuck a kid. I mean, Me? That, that's like putting on a single number and roulette. Then he just starts breaking. He goes, "You so saying I fuck kids?" <laughs> Like wait, me? wait, yeah. He's like, is this your subliminal, like, asking me if, if you're also a pedophile type of thing? He goes, are you fucking with me? He goes, wait, 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 wait. but maybe. He goes, there, I guess there is a chance with those odds that we're all pedophiles. <laughs> right. Me and you, Jeff, then you're he, a yeah. pedophile. He's like, That's- everyone probably has the urge, honestly, and he takes a swig of his beer. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's him. It's him like testing, like just on the real off chance that they all his friends happen to also be pedophiles. Uh-huh. Because it would make his life rule. Yeah, his inner vi- voice is just going, just go, just go for it, dude, man. Just Je- take the lead. Yeah, Jeff, just go for it, dude. He's like, you guys want to fuck kids, right? I wonder if that's happened where a guy's got really drunk and then tried to confide in somebody like, yes, af- after oh, the bar. It's oh, one hundred. Like, hey, man, like I, w- I really want to tell you what's mm-hmm. happened. Yeah, one hundred percent. It was yeah. like the Boogie Nights, Philip Seymour Hoffman scene with with Mark Wahlberg when he shows it, him the car. But instead, it was like. Mm. He like opens the trunk yeah. as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just think you're cool, he's man. Like, I just think this kid's cool, man. You know, he's so cool. I'm drunk. You know, you get drunk. <laughs> let's let's go back to the party. <laughs> oh god. That's such a brutal scene. Yeah. I if someone told me if someone confided in me they were a virtuous pedophile, <laughs> I would cut them out of my life. There was, that's way too toxic. There was a guy who did that yeah. to me. When we did our old podcast, Brain Jail. Do you remember that? What? There was a guy who was a fan of Brain Jail, our old podcast. Oh, yeah. And he messaged me. And, you know, like, because we talk about depression a lot. So you get a lot of, like, you know, sad faggots mm-hmm. messaging you and stuff. Sure. And he messaged me. He's like, Plenty I'm, of those. I'm going through a lot. He's like, I'm drunk right now. Like, I don't know, like, who to talk to. And I'm like, yeah, dude, like, what's going on? Because we didn't have, like, a lot of fans. And then he was like, you know, I fucking. Like, I'm, like, addicted to porn, and then, you know, it got really bad. Like, I started watching, like, fat girl porn, and then, like, it didn't get me hard anymore, so I started watching, like, gay porn, because that was the only thing that got me hard, and I started watching, like, child porn, just because, like, and, but it's not because I'm attracted to kids. It's just the only thing that got me hard anymore, and I just block. Jesus. Block, and then he messaged people who followed me, trying to be like, hey, I told Jace a secret, and he freaked out, so can you tell him to unblock me? And I was like, "Yeah, no, you're a fucking pedophile." A secret. Yeah, you should be. Sh- I should. You should be shot in the head and put in a ditch. What are you talking about? How do you even find? Child- Honestly, like, is there websites where it's just it's there? Yeah, and it's not do you taken just, off. Do you just Google child porn what? and Google's like, "Oh, right away, here you go." You have a Google alert set up for it, <laughs> so you can watch it the moment before it's taken down. You right. get it like for like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, just bing. But, no, you, but just, I love you just download Tor and you just go to Onion Links. Oh, yeah, if you want to, if if, if your thing is just like people getting ripped apart limb from limb by like wild dogs, you could just like dark. You web just go stuff. to Tor, yeah. Right. Oh. But I do like his reasoning that like wanting to fuck fat chicks is like the gateway to like fucking kids. I mean, he's already yeah. like it's like even if he's not acting on it, like he can still be arrested, right? Just even for looking at it. Yeah, for looking at child yeah, pornography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously. Uh, right? Yeah, so yeah. what he's like it's acting a federal like offense. he's like I yeah. don't act on it. I just consume <laughs> and help the economy yeah, I help of, prop- of pedophilia. <laughs> right. I help propagate a system that does a horrible horrific things to I'm children. I'm an <laughs> aggregate system mm. for pedophilia. I don't do it. Listen, I'm just a cog in the wheel of big pedo, you know? <laughs> I'm a Consume <laughs> because it's capitalism, baby. What do you want me yeah, to do? It's like a guy who works at Raytheon. Listen, I just push papers, buddy. I'm not. I'm not firing the missiles. It is funny to be like, "What do you want from me? I'm a consumer. <laughs> it's in my blood. I consume." Right. Yeah. He goes to the Kramer defense where he tries to go all woke. He's like, "I mean, the society that we live in. <laughs> it's society. built to. It's, it's built to drive you to these points. The society. I mean, what is a child really?" These words, these words, these words. Children are just tiny adults. <laughs> oh, oh, so... What, oh. what really is masturbating to something sexually? Really? Really? Earlier, someone desca- described a child as little. <laughs> well, what about little people? Exactly. Am I not allowed to find midgets attractive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, let's, let's, let's break that down real quick. Let's yeah. break that down for a second. As he's being dragged into a prison. <laughs> no, 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 let's break it down. Let's break it down real quick. <laughs> oh, my God. They're just throwing him to a pit of prisoners mm. like a fucking oh, what a har- seal cage. <laughs> Harrowing message to get. Yeah. I'd yeah. be worried about even getting the message and then not reporting. I'd be it like freaked, worried. That, it freaked me out. I'd be worried that I get in trouble for not reporting like immediately. Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know what something. to do. I freaked out. I probably should have reported it, but I was like, all I have is like his username. Yeah. And shit, and I did. Just, I just didn't want to get involved. You think so. he was a fed? Maybe, maybe he was like wanted me to be like, oh, me, fucking me too, dude. Like, let's watch child porn together. He could have been a glowy. Could have been a glowy. Yeah, mm. I could have. Sounds like know? fed posting to me is is telling people you watch child pornography. Yeah, that was really my fork in the road, and one of them could have been me shooting up a mosque in you know Baltimore or something. 
is you wait 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 how how would that happen you know glowies they could talk people oh into, yeah like, they could have talked shootings. you into yeah. like saying subscribe to pewdiepie right. and attaching a grow, gopro right. to your head right yeah. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 go in call of duty mode you guys watch <laughs> child porn and then just go kill john lennon <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, luckily we haven't gotten any of those messages on Lemon Party yet. Nope, just yet. getting really Keyword normal messages. Yet. Yeah, they will come. Every oh, come. message is just full of cogent thoughts. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everyone's being very normal. Very normal. I love every video of a retarded man I get sent on Instagram. <laughs> just yep. a retarded man. People will like send me a video of like their mom like dying, and they're like, "Great shit for Hate Watch. <laughs> just check it out." <laughs> I'm like, what, dude? Dude, fucking roast my dead mom. Dude, roast my mom's grave, bro. By the way, I will put out a she PS. She got murdered, dude. <laughs> I can't. By me, dude. I'm in prison. I'm sending you this from the community room. <laughs> you guys send me videos of people with like four followers and want me to make fun of them. I can't do that. That's the thing. <laughs> That's yeah. her, literally. That's another thing I get. I get right. videos of a guy with mentally ill. Eight mm-hmm. views. And I'm like, well, this is insane. <laughs> this is. Bo- they have to be kind of mm-hmm. known. Check out this homeless guy who has a Wi Fi connection. <laughs> Check him out. Right. They're just like, dude, check out this guy I filmed at the gas station. <laughs> check out this guy who thinks he's an octopus <laughs> who huffs spray paint out of a brown bag under the overpass. And he doesn't even know he recorded himself and uploaded it. He has it. no idea what's going on. And they're like, this is a YouTuber? They're like, this is my son. <laughs> he's a fucking retard. <laughs> he's a retard. <laughs> like, I don't think you get it. <laughs> Just heart and move on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just another day on the targeted harassment podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the last episode was insane. Yeah. <laughs> it's we're just. I mean. Oh, the Yankee in the South I, one. No one's ever exerted that much energy on them in their entire lives. <laughs> their parents didn't do that much work for them. Mm. They're probably flattered. I hope. Yeah. They're also fucking we- weirdos. They, they, They're they, narcissists. They go. They, I've seen their live streams. They go do weird shit with strangers. They mm. make fun of people from afar. They do make fun of people and they harass homeless people. They harass. People. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. like, look, he's dancing, Don. Look at that. Wonder what's going on. And they go. They just kind of laugh in their jeep. Mm-hmm. You know what? I uh, the last episode was all comedy, making fun of them and stuff. No, they're grizzly, like, they're, dark people. No, they're morally. Yeah. There are moral people. Yeah. Let's <laughs> flip it on. There are moral people. They're immoral. <laughs> yeah. Fuck them. They're bad people. They're, they're not good. They're awful. They mm-hmm. deserve everything they have coming. Mm-hmm. I agree. Right. I agree. And that's a heart attack. <laughs> Soon. Likely. They're bad at tipping. They're actually Oh, you know they don't tip. Bad yeah. at tipping. Dude, they usually post they post their tips often. They're not good at tipping. Mm-hmm. I can in the heart attack girl one, I think you can count the change in the tray i've calculated it before by like because i can see the dollar bills and the fives and the and the they tip by also leaving Mm -hmm. like dimes and nickels if you tip by opening a little bag in your purse Mm -hmm. you're a bad person that thing you squeeze right yeah the the thing with the slit in it. the thing that only retarded women have to hold (laughs) to hold five nickels yeah 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 yeah, yeah. (laughs) They five nickels yeah. and eight hundred heart attack. They bills. tip like a woman that runs an orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're immoral people, mm-hmm. and and they have to be stopped. Yeah, they're probably racist because oh. I think black people are chocolate. Who, yeah, Will and Don are probably racist. Probably, of course. Yeah. They don't have any black friends. I've noticed. Yeah, because they they ate them. All. They like chocolate so much because they they think they're dominating black people. <laughs> anyway, we should we can't do it again. <laughs> we can't do it we can't down this road again. It's so easy to get sucked into. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was trying to resist, but you see all the jokes. It's just immediate. Like, <laughs> God damn it! It's just <laughs> a bevy, just a a well. Yeah. Right. Be like, all right, right we'll, we'll, I guess we'll do gay we'll Shawshank this week. Move on, gay Shawshank. <laughs> guess we fucking won't, retards. Guess we won't make a whole podcast career about attacking two people we don't know, <laughs> and do, do, kind of do, do, do fall into like the most vicious thing ever created in media. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure a lot. I'm sure there was people out there that were like, you know, it's too much of one thing, and also this is like mean. But mm-hmm. it's like, I mean, come on. It's very funny. It's mm. funny. It's th- th- these people don't exist. <laughs> if you're posting yourself on the internet, you don't exist. Yeah. We don't exist. By mm. the way, we don't know if they're real. Either. We don't even know if right. they exist. If they're real, I don't mm-hmm. know if they're real. 
Oh, yeah. This, this could be um, uh, they could be a AI. Dar- they could be a Darren Aronofsky movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it could be a PSYOP. It could be like yeah. a TikTok thing. What if ben- could- Brendan Fraser's method acting for the whale was just hanging out with Will and Don? <laughs> Sorry, I know we're trying to steer. I know, I know. Steer out of it. Trying to think of a segregation joke about them, but I never landed it. Hmm. They think segregation's like a steakhouse in town or something. I'm just trying to think. I don't know. Who cares? They're fucking retards. They're bad people, mm-hmm. and they deserve everything they get. <laughs> and legs crossed. <laughs> and frankly, I hope they burn in half. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. I was. Uh, they, they need Jesus. Those two. Oh, they moving have, on. They have Jesus. Oh, I bet they do. They go to church for the for the Eucharist. <laughs> <laughs> they eat the cracker. They come with dip. They bring dip like, to church. We, we yeah. heard a song about a chocolate Jesus. <laughs> right. We heard a song on the that radio. They're, they're going to there. There's the communion wine, and then and then Will has a big straw going across the room <laughs> to sip all the wine. We can't oh, pull out of it. God. I know. Yeah, yeah. How was Dallas? It's or like wherever it's you like went? it's okay. like trying to get a <laughs> Never mind. Car, it's like trying to get a car out of a ditch in the mud. Like the tires are <laughs> right. just spinning yeah, freely. Yeah. Like we can't. We, we need to we need to lay two by fours down on the podcast so we can get out of <laughs> yeah out of Will and Don. Yeah, the podcast needs chains. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Will and Don is like driving in, on the ice. You have to like steer into it so you go through it. Because otherwise you'll just flip. Otherwise you'll flip the podcast. <laughs> uh, oh man, Jesus Christ! But so how was Dallas? Yeah, how was your trip? I saw mom and dad. I <laughs> uh, made him okay. So here's the thing. Because mm-hmm. I'm not going to talk about family stuff, obviously. Right. But I. I have now. I went to see the whale with mom and dad. Mm-hmm. Boy, this is your fourth. Your fourth screening. That's truly. It's kind of getting demented. Right. So here's I the even thing. said Darren Aronofsky would be like, "All right, this is <laughs> fucking knock it off, dude." Aronofsky's like, "What have I done?" Right. He's blocking you on Twitter. <laughs> Doesn't even follow you. He's trying to pull it from theaters, so right. I'll stop watching it. Yeah, he's. They're handing out your photos at showings of the whale. Like oh, you're... like when you steal from a yeah. convenience store, how have your you pictures. Seen this man? <laughs> yeah. Don't outside, allow this man. Outside Inside every uh, AMC in America. Yeah, it says we can't tell if he sincerely likes it or hates fat right. people. With ben, it's a picture of Ben walking in and he's wearing a whale number one fan shirt. <laughs> so here's the thing: I have now seen the whale so many times because I've mm-hmm. seen it more than that time with mom and right. dad. You saw it more than the editor saw it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I, you're like the guys who follow the Grateful Dead. I've seen it so many times. I now have seen it an, uh, an amount of times that I'm not telling you how many times I've seen it. <laughs> oh, because you've seen it five, oh, actually. So you, you haven't it, given us the real number. It's more than that. I'm not telling you how many times what? I've seen it. I'm not telling you You've how many times I've seen it. You've paid to see the movie like, over I'm not, six I'm not, times? I'm not telling you how many times. If anybody asks now... This is de- deranged, If, if anybody asks now if I've seen The Whale, my reply to that is... That is none of your business, okay? <laughs> it's actually none of your business. Yeah. <laughs> none of your business. They're like, all right. Did I you didn't... ever see the whale? No, that's actually none of your business. Right. <laughs> ben, Ben's, go, Ben's going on a whale watching cruise because he gets confused. <laughs> He's in the middle of the ocean. He's like, I don't even see Brendan Fraser. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've I've seen it. I've uh, seen it too many times. Yeah, too so many like, times now. So your family, I, I like have it like memorized. It's, right, it's like a pop song to me. It's now. it's like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. What for does you. your family think of it? They just think it's about their neighbor. <laughs> wait, who's their neighbor? Wait, what do you mean? I don't know. Just some, <laughs> some oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they live next yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, some guy who lives in a round trailer. Yeah, I don't, know. Round. don't they live in a tra- Texas? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a trailer with the floor bent so it's touching the dirt. I love those. Those they call like uh, that's my two uh, my uh, uh, double wide. Mm-hmm. Like they call their house the dimensions. No, they even call it yeah. Right. <laughs> They're a, we got a, one of those fat <laughs> ass homes. <laughs> We got one of those twenty footers by forty footers. Twenty footers. So those uh, those houses come pre-installed with eight doors on the front, <laughs> right next to each other. So you can just open them all up, just roll inside. <laughs> it's a guy, a guy in Texas eight so fat. <laughs> it's a guy in Texas so fat. He opens his door, and then instead of walking outside, he rolls forward <laughs> and then back up on his. Uh, feet. <laughs> 
God, I wish the whale was set in Texas, though. <laughs> He's just dumb as shit. He can't read. Right. Yeah. He's getting stuck in cattle guards, mm-hmm. breaking his legs. His his gun on his hip keeps going off because he's so fat. <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing a, a a small cowboy hat because he's so fat, mm-hmm. which is my favorite guy. Mm-hmm. Is guy too fat for big hats? Yeah. yeah. Guy who, when he wears big hats, they look small. He's wearing a 20-gallon hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it just looks like a, like a pot. What is it called? A little bowler's cap? <laughs> What's the little ones? Like it's like a little, uh, it's like those little uh, like oh, little like party hats. Yeah, 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 like a bowler hat. It's yeah. a is it a bowler hat? I think it's a bowler hat. The yeah. little ones that suck ass that only like really big fat guys from the nineteen twenties wear. Yeah. 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 The hat that does nothing for no one. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It covers like a little a little spot. tiny, yeah. but yeah, it covers a hat that you have to glue onto your head. Yeah, it's, an, to wear. it's <laughs> an obese man's yarmulke. <laughs> right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He's just wearing a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's like a little ramekin, mm-hmm. but I, uh, I, it's a, we, I think, okay. So I want to, I want to defend myself here a little bit Okay, with the whale. It's maybe, maybe I've been having a manic episode <laughs> and I think that's what this is in hindsight. Yeah. After I saw it, the, the final time I've seen it, I, I realized I've, I, uh, maybe I've just been having a, right. a bit of a thing. Some severe You're mental health You're not into it the last time? No, no, it's amazing. You still love it. It's but amazing. You but have seen it too much. Yeah, yeah. Something's going on with me. But when I love a movie, I, I you know, and it's in theaters, and I've seen them. I've seen them about that many times. Mm-hmm. No, this is this is unforgivable. You don't, do, you don't you don't do this often. No, Mm-mm. but this is sick. It's not a fun movie to watch. <laughs> yeah. You're a sick bastard. at all. It's yeah. actually me- it's right. mentally deranged. It's, it's so good deranged. though. It's and so there's, good. There's, it's really good. Yeah, uh, it's once amazing. Once or twice in a lifetime. <laughs> this movie. I haven't watched a movie that's meant this much to me since I watched The Master by Paul Thomas Anderson. Mm. Yeah. But it is like, it's like if you watched uh, uh, Irreversible like nine times. Like, that oh, would the be Gaspar No movie? The Gaspar No rape movie. Like that would be that a little weird. That has an eight minute rape scene. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you timed it out so you were only going into the theater at the rape scene and then like walking out. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a crock pot. I'm setting a yeah. timer. Like I have a watch. I'm winding. You're walking to the theater. You go, I'll get one ticket for Irreversible uh, 49 minutes into the movie. <laughs> <laughs> You just wait in the lobby on your phone for 48 minutes. Yeah, I'm playing Angry Birds, <laughs> eating peanut M&Ms. Right. You walk out nine minutes later. God, what a flick. <laughs> he walks out laughing his ass off <laughs> like it's Naked Gun. <laughs> Have you seen that rape scene, by the way? Oh, many times. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I actually haven't watched the movie. Oh, you haven't? Because of, of the rape scene. Yeah, yeah it's, it's wild. Yeah. But you loved it, you sicko. I lo- I love that uh, I love Gaspar No. I know you don't really like him. You don't really like. I him don't either. even know what we're talking about. No. You don't know Gaspar No? No. The weird French uh, filmmaker where he just makes movies about people like getting, uh, uh, like, f- like it's just like ah, oh, it's this crazy scene where like the his uh, penis is the camera and it's going in and out of an Asian uh, guy. Uh huh. I don't know. Stuff yeah, like that. Why don't you make something that people like? <laughs> How about that? How about how about yeah. how about that's the work of the artist right. yeah. <laughs> to make to make your language uh, be understood by the by people. Right, right. Mm-hmm. There is part of me that would rather watch like Juana Man than what you just described. Yeah, and I'd rather watch I'd rather watch fucking uh, you know Wild Hogs. <laughs> I, I, this Ben's explanation. I can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. French fucking faggot that thinks he's a genius because he like put a camera. He put a GoPro on a guy's cock. Right. And he's like, and he's raping a child. Right. He goes, you know, I'm a, movie. you know I'm a genius because I made a movie that bores even me. <laughs> yeah. I made a movie so bad, I didn't even really edit it because I kept falling asleep in the editing. But back. I'm French, so people will think it's brilliant. Mm. <laughs> Devin should see Enter the Void, though. No, I I'll see it. I've seen it. It's the video game movie where it's all sh- it's all one t- Isn't it like one Well, the long first 40 minutes is around. one take of yeah. from a point of view of a guy doing DMT, and he right. floats above his body. Yeah. Yeah, and he... he right. m- Sounds good. He, Sounds like a music video. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. it looks like it's LSD. It looks like LSD by uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, Waka. It's uh, for people on. Who's that guy? Of... ASAP Rocky. That music video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Sure, I'm sure. Yeah, like people like that have taken from him, and and I'm sure he's visually good, but I guarantee it's almost an unwatchable movie. But right. Devin, rather... he's he's French. Don't you get it? He's his, French. His name is Diffro. <laughs> His name is Gasper. It's the same retards that they just all you got to do is say a Russian last name and everyone thinks you're smart. Right? <laughs> They're like, oh, you haven't you haven't watched? You don't know No, I'm like a smart guy. So you didn't read. Right. 
You have not watched The Prisoner's Gay Dilemma <laughs> mm-hmm. about a man trapped in hell inside of an apartment? Like, I get it. Like, these things uh, stylistically can be great, but, like, I don't know. I just yeah. have a feeling it's likely not a very yeah, yeah. fun movie to sure. watch, and it doesn't really... I, I think great art should get across a very sp- highly specific vision in a... In, in a in a in a ma- in a um accept in a in a a, a publicly acceptable way. An yeah, exciting, you should be trying entertaining. You way. have to figure out a way to mm-hmm. to emit the special language you think or you read with mm-hmm. to everybody else that doesn't mm-hmm. usually understand what you're talking about. Right. That's if you just do it think, and it's for a bubble. Like I'm like I don't really think it's that great. Yeah, because I tried to watch like you know like I'm watching like eight and a half. By like, Fellini? By Fellini. And like midway through, and I'm like, you know what? This like, like what would be great is if just Jackie Chan started doing karate. <laughs> I wish Jackie Chan ran through the scene in a tuxedo. <laughs> and he, I wish he like, he did a bunch of uh, fucking cool moves on scaffolding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know what would be great is if in Eight and a Half, uh, The Rock and Jason Statham fought each other in a prison. That would be much fun, more fun movie. By the way, you know how many fucking people are going to like get on me about like shitting on Enter the Void? I've never seen it, but like a bunch of people that like, th- Dude. a bunch of people that literally <laughs> watch video game scenes <laughs> and they think that they know what's going right. on. Yeah, that, yeah. You know? They think they're watching Enter the Void, but they're just playing GoldenEye. Yeah. yeah. People that like, they, they, they don't skip the storyline in a video game. True. <laughs> sure. That's me. There's a lot of retards yeah. out there. Yeah. You're not though. You're not. But I play the I like those video games where like, you get to decide your life. Like uh I like Life is Strange and yeah. Detroit Become ben, Human. Ben does like the autistic video games, yeah. I like living uh I, I realized there was something probably wrong with me because life is strange. Is you're like a girl in high school and you're making decisions about like making friends and stuff. And right. I got really into it and I was like living vicariously through I get her. All that. I get all that. V- listen, but these the, people can be great visually. The point of the video game. But then I moved on. Right. Yeah. It was four days of my life and then I moved on. Right. I get it. But these, yeah, these people that make it. I mean, the Enter the Void you showed me like the beginning. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's really good, but I don't give a fuck because it's where's the move? Where, what? Right. Do you connect? Is there people you connect with in the movie? Do you? Do you? No, I don't know what the movie is. Fine. Just watch uh, Kevin Hart and Mark Wahlberg's new movie, Devin. <laughs> See, no, that's, no, no, that's fine. That's what people pretend is happening. No, no, no. Go They go pretend watch, it's uh, either Daddy's Home or mm. Gasper No rapes a child no, tied to a log. No, go watch Daddy's Home 4. <laughs> <laughs> they pre- go watch the movie where it's, it's Kevin Hart in a kayak, like... <laughs> and Mark Wahlberg's holding a big salmon. Yeah, the movie's called Black People Kayaking. <laughs> No, Devin, enjoy Paddington 4 yeah. or whatever the hell. <laughs> enjoy your movie Ice Cube is Gay now. <laughs> it's the name of the movie, Gay uh, Ice Cube. Uh, mm. Yeah. I guess I think we're at the end here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got to pee, so. So we can do the next episode. We can get to the next episode. Well, I think I won. <laughs> you won the fight. I, I think I won. You actually, we weren't even fighting because you said you didn't. I'm even, mad. You're <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Frankly, I'm pissed off. Uh, what's uh, 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 what's your what's my favorite movie? Grand Theft Auto Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. you mean those kind of cuts? Those green I see what you're saying. L.A. Noire. Yeah. Right. Half Life. Can't wait for Half Life movie. Yeah. Like The Last of Us is on. Yeah, yeah. It's good, but it's like it still feels like a video game mm. show. Because they're like, we have to. Oh no, the only way to get through is through this house full of spooky people. <laughs> it's, it's like it's. It's, it's a video game level. It's crazy what people will are willing to go see. Everyone went to see Puss in Boots, which people, is a Shrek movie without Shrek. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what? what? What is that? It's just Puss in Boots. It's yeah. just, it's the cat. Was the cat even that? I forget if the it's cat Antonio Banderas. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 And it's like a POC. They can't do keep Shrek it, now. Right. He's an Irish guy. Keep it gone. Just 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 sell the or retard. Scottish. But I'm it sorry. is it, it is the people seeing that are like the type of people who like it taught me that like it's okay to have <laughs> panic attacks. <laughs> And it's like, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the people, they're all, mm. they're all exactly thirty-four. They're all way too online. They're like, I like that in normalized pain. It's like either get a gun <laughs> or up your Prozac medication until your brain stops having thoughts anymore because you are not, you're not fit for life. Mm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Patre- yeah. Patreon.com slash lemon party. <laughs> I love that rape was one of the last words. <laughs> It seems like a nice send off. Right. Patreon.com slash lemon party. We have uh, many episodes, both audio and video behind there. Uh, Devin didn't have to start a new channel or did have. I did. I did. You have a new channel. YouTube.com uh, slash uh, hate watch pod. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, um, that is the episode. That is it. Thank All you. Right. Bye.